smooth on that machine. Handlebar is very low down, as you see. Billy Hamill in second place. These two already through to the semi-finals of the World Championship. Billy Hamill going to Rovno, and Sabah Malenko have the more preferred draw going to Adamsberg in Germany to try and get a place, of course, in that World Final in Gothenburg on August the 31st. The more increasing thoughts at the moment for this gold hammer is Ermelenko gets three points from heat number nine. National League match. Rye House have won the toss and have taken gates one and three. And the lineup is for Crayford in red, Paul Woods, blue, Alan Johns, Rye House, white, Carl Fiala, yellow and black, Ashley Pullum. With the tapes away into the league goes Carl Fiala for Rye House Rockets. Chased by the two Crayford riders, Paul Woods in second, Alan Johns in third, and at the back is Ashley Pullum. But it's Fiala still in the lead as they cross the line to complete lap one. Paul Woods is chasing hard inside Carl Fiala. And on the top end, Alan Johns has fallen off. So there's only three riders in the race now, and it's still Fiala from Woods with Ashley Pullen in third place. Paul Woods, a little wheelie there. He's desperately trying hard to get up inside Paul. Inside Carl Fiala. They go down the back straight on lap three. It's still Fiala in the lead over Woods. Coming out of the top bend, crossing the line now. Three laps completed. Fiala still leads Woods. Woods still trying desperately hard to get inside Fiala. Hugging that wide line. Can't make any impression on Fiala at this stage. And as they come off the top bend now to complete the first race, it is a win for Carl Fiala. Second, Paul Woods. Third, Ashley Pullen. Heat three for Crayford in red. Les Rumsey. Alan Sage in blue. Rumsey off gate four. Sage off gate two. And for Rye House... Kevin Smith in white, off gate three, and Kelvin Malarkey, yellow and black, off gate one. Green lights on, and the tapes are up. And who's the first to show? Alan Sage storms into the lead for Crayford. On his outside, his teammate Les Rumsey, and it's a 5 1 to Crayford. Sage in front with Rumsey. Two right house riders not far behind. And white in third place is Kevin Smith, but it's the two Crayford. One this early in the match. Rumsey opting for the outside. Alan Sage on the inside. Two laps completed. Kevin Smith in third place. Great impression at the moment. Kelvin Malarkey's looks pretty well out of it at the back. They go around the top bend now. Rumsey and Sage. Firstly side by side into the pits bend for the last time. Green lights on and they're away. First to show is Laurie Etheridge. Laurie Etheridge takes the lead for Crayford. Bobby Carroll. Second place is Lee Naylor trying to go inside. Sorry, it's Naylor in front, not Etheridge. My fault. Naylor in front. In second place is Bobby Garrett. Laurie Etheridge in third place. Let the back is Peter Town. Down the back straight. Off. Second lap. Still, Steve Naylor in front from Bobby Garrett. We're off the top bend now to complete two laps. And Naylor looks to have a pretty commanding lead over Garrett. Bobby Garrett still chasing hard. Laurie Etheridge, a little way back in third place. And right out of contention at the moment is Peter Town in fourth. They come into the pit bend. Down the back straight on the last lap. It is Steve Naylor holding on to his lead over Bobby Garrett. Steve Naylor now crossing the line to win for Crayford.